What I found. It's the anti-venom. What? All we need to do is inject them. Simon, you do it. No way. You're good to have No way. We need Shauna here for this. There's no time for that. You're gonna have to do it, David. The chief is gone. We shouldn't be out here. Not like this. Simo and Melissa have disappeared, and now the jeep. How can a jeep just vanish? I don't understand it. Any of it. We've spent all night shivering, hungry and soaked through. I just can't take much more. I swear I heard something last night. Yeah, me too. It could have been dingoes or something, I suppose. I can't see any tracks, though. Nah, me neither. Maybe the microphones have picked something up. We'll, we'll soon find out. <laughs> Look! What's happened to them? I don't know. They've all been burnt. Let's get back to the camp. Now! We're being watched. I know we are. This is gone. <laughs> Mr. Simmons just disappeared as well. What are we going to do? What if the boys have gone too? Melissa, are you receiving this? Space camp calling David. Space camp calling the boys. Are you receiving this set? Can anybody hear me? Base camp called Lindara Waters Base. SOS, urgent assistance needed. Please come in, Lindara. We need some help out here. Please, will someone talk to me? What happened to that? I have no idea. All the other equipment's fine, but the mics have been destroyed. Burnt to a crisp. The situation is so out of control. We're stuck here for good. Don't talk like that, Sarah. You're freaking me out. Why well, hasn't anyone come to rescue us? I mean, we haven't been able to get through to Arnie or Melissa for days. They must know we're out here on our own. Of course they do. They're probably on their way. Well, they're certainly taking their time about it. Can't even get the radio to work. You managed to get through to the boys, right? <gasps> These thoughts are driving me mad! <sighs> Why won't this stupid thing work? Yeah, let me try it. I'm not thick, you know. Well, David, I was only trying to help. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just tired and hungry, that's all. It wasn't the best night's sleep I've ever had. I'm starving. At least Leon's recovered from his snake bite. Didn't you tell us Aboriginals she used to live out the bush? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you could live off the land for months. There's plenty of things that could sustain us, such as insects or that. Insects? The witches of grub is supposed to be pretty tasty. The bog-on moth contains 27% protein. And as for the bush cockroach... Please stop. You're making me queasy. <laughs> you got that right. How are you feeling? Apart from tired, <laughs> wet and hungry. It's a lot better then. Yeah. David, my stomach is so empty it hurts. Whoa! We could always eat snake. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. David, you are such a prat. That's not funny with what Leon's been through. And do you have to record everything? Sorry. It's OK. Look, we could also pop down the riverbank. I mean, there's plenty of frogs down there. We could fry a couple of those up. I think I'll wait till we get back to camp. OK. I hear frogs are meant to taste like chicken. Look, I'm thinking maybe me and you should head into town to go and get some help. You and me? <laughs> yeah, those two couldn't find the way of a paper bag. I think we should all just stay together. Well, so we can stay stuck out here together. Forever. I'm sticking with the others, Simon. 
Oh, because you're too scared to go into town and get some help? No, because I'm not interested in running off just to save my own skin. Shut your face. Guys, what's going on? David, this doesn't concern you. I think it's about time we headed back to camp, OK? Yeah, Jerry and Melissa should be back by now. Yeah, well, whatever happens, this expedition is definitely over, right? <sighs> Look, let's get some water and head back to camp, OK? Come on. Simon, promise me that you won't head off alone. We all have to stick together. Yeah, whatever. Maybe they're in one of these little valleys. The radios might be in a dead spot or something. Yeah, but what if it's not the radio? What if Leon's condition gets much worse and they're stuck out there in the bush? What then? Don't let us get into what ifs, Shona. We just don't have the answers right now. Don't think like that. We've got to stay positive. But Mr Simmons and Melissa have disappeared. And now the boys. What's happened to them? It's Chrissy. Straight for a minute. They're just trees, aren't they? Right. They've taken control of everything. Even the trees. Stop it, Chrissy. Look, I'll show you. I'll ask the tree. Chrissy. Are the boys safe? <laughs> Guys, let's stop here. Let's have some water and get some rest. I'll try to contact base camp. Um. This is David calling base camp. Are you deceiving me? Over. This is David calling base camp. Are you deceiving me? Over. Stupid thing! It's aliens. Try to get in contact with us. What do I do? What do I do? Come on! Shut up, Harry! It's only Whoa. a radio! Is anyone there? Can you hear me? I think we should stay here. In case you try and communicate again. No way! No way! We're getting out of here right now! No! Look! I'll try and radio base again first, okay? It's okay, Chrissy. Forget about the trees. They're just trees. Probably just the light flickering through the leaves. Definitely. Nothing to do with aliens whatsoever. Right. Someone's trying to get through to us. This is David calling base camp. Are you receiving me? Over. Yeah, David, we can hear you. They've been all right. Oh, Sarah, it's so good. Sorry, David, we didn't get that. Pete, please. Are you okay? I was just saying, it's good to hear your voice. That's all. Are you all right? Should I tell them about the Jeep? No way, they'll freak. We're fine. Leon's much better now. Leon, say hello to the girls. Hi, girls. See you soon. Over. We're heading back to base camp right now. Over. OK. I'll see you when you get back. I'm afraid there's still no sign of Simo, though. Have you heard anything? <laughs> no, David. He hasn't arrived back here yet. I'll see you soon, though. Over now. This place is getting weird. First Mr Simmons disappears, now the jeep. And now those noises on the radio. There's something about this area that is really spooky. If we couldn't drive that jeep out of the mud, who could have moved it? I had the only keys, so nobody drove it. It seems like the aliens are trying to make contact with us, and we just don't know how to respond. There's that noise again. Huh? It's coming from your back, David. I switched the radio off. Whoa! That was close. Why would it just fall like that? Well, it looks pretty dead. Maybe our footsteps disturbed it. Hey, this branch hasn't just fallen, look. It's been cut off. I've never seen wood cut that cleanly before. Not on this planet, anyway. If it is aliens, why are they trying to hurt us? Maybe they're just trying to scare us away. It's working. Maybe it's not aliens. What? Maybe there's a simpler explanation. Give me a camera. Eh? Quick! 
We should go after him. I know who you are. Come on! Oh, wait. There's no one out there. How do you know? Because these things aren't being done by a person. Show yourself! Come out! Come on! We will get you. We will! Whoever you are. Anything. Well, it looks like David was right then, eh? I had a feeling there was something the boys weren't telling us. I just don't know what. Maybe they know something more about Mr. Simmons. Possibly. Although David did say there was no sign of him, though. Look, I think we're all a bit shaken up right now. The boys will be OK, and I'm sure Mr. Simmons is fine, too. The guys will get back in a while, and we'll talk about all this then. There is no other possible explanation. Aliens have got us surrounded, and I think they're trying to make contact with us. Problem is, we can't understand them. Are they friendly aliens, or are they trying to scare us off? And if so, what do we do about it? I think our best bet is if we all stick together. Get that thing out of my face, Humper! Although I sometimes wish that one of us was elsewhere... I don't really mean it. Simon isn't the easiest person to get along with, but we're all starting to feel the strain of this place. After all, who wants to be stuck in the middle of nowhere with just aliens for company? The heat can play strange tricks on you. Maybe you've got sunstroke. Yeah, and the boys are fine, so the trees weren't sending messages after all. It was pretty weird, though. Hey, we're back. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, so <sighs> Food. So, but it's literally you grab. Those ant bites look really bad. Oh, I thought they were looking better. Yeah, well, balance or no balance, you're still a babe. I was thinking maybe um, me and you should start spending a lot more time together. <laughs> We've got problems. Tell me about it. The microphones have completely burnt out. This place is so creepy. The jeep's gone missing. What do you mean, gone missing? It was there, stuck in the mud, and then when we went back, it had just disappeared. Right. Just miles from anywhere. Well, we're going to have to discuss our options. Get everyone together. Everyone, we need to talk. Okay, okay. So I've decided I need another ally. This heat is driving me mad. I'm not feeling so good. Hot and shivery at the same time. Vision's getting a bit blurry. Don't know what's happening to me. What I do know is I've got to get out of here. And I'm gonna need some help. It's got to be Chrissy. Yeah, well, what choices do I have? Leon's decided he's not going to play ball, so Chrissy will have to do. There is no way I'm sticking around here. Aliens or no aliens. So what do we do now? Without the jeep? We'll have to walk it. Can we make it? What choice do we have? What about Jerry and Melissa? What if they come back and we've gone? If they come back. So what do we do? Just give up on them? We can wait another day, yeah? Yeah. Sure, I mean, another day can't hurt. Waste of time, if you ask me. We should head off right now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We've got enough provisions. It's only one night. We're sticking together on this one, Simon. I think we owe it to Mr Simmons to wait at least another night. OK, then. Let's put it to vote. All those in favour of staying another night? Yeah. Right. That's a settled then. No way! Who died and made you chief, anyway? Oh, look, Simon, it's... Don't look me, David. 
It's my life. I'll do what I want. What now? Just leave him. He's not going anywhere. Okay. Quickest way out of here is by river. We need someone to help us carry the canoe. We're in a real mess now. No adults. No jeep. Hardly any food left. How can we possibly get out of here? After everything that's happened. The jeep, the microphones, everything. There's no way we're alone. Whoever, whatever, is watching us. It's not gonna let us go without a fight. I just wanted to say thanks for looking after me when I was sick. That's okay. It wasn't a problem. I don't remember much, but I know you were around. Thanks. You know when we go back home? Yeah. Maybe you want to go out sometime. Back to the cinema or something. I'd love to. But, but my parents are kind of strict. They don't really approve of, you know, boyfriends and stuff. Oh, right. Maybe we can talk them around. Um, hey, I think you're right. I think we should stay another night. What? Eh? Uh, yeah, well, we may as well make the most of it. Hey, David, how about me and you head down the river to go and get some fish so we can have a proper meal tonight? What? You and me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Look, I'm sorry it's been a bit tense between the two of us. This place drives me a bit nuts, that's all. Hey, we could take the canoe. Might even find Jerry. Yeah. yeah. We'll need help to get the canoe back to the river, though. Me and Leon will help. If it means fresh fish for supper. Of course, Brad. Hey, Chris, do you want to come? Oh, yeah. Yeah, please. I'd love to. Yeah. Never has been fishing before. Uh, right, but no slowing us up, though. Hey, lads. Maybe it was just the heat that made Chrissy see that stuff in the trees. It's just you never know around here. Weird things just happen. I mean, look at David. At school, he's a total square. But here, he's just, I don't know, different. Like, he knows so much about everything. <laughs> I can't believe it. I think he likes me. Maybe I've just got some stroke. Perhaps everything's going to be OK. I mean, I've got this far, right? When we got back earlier, I thought Sarah was really glad to see me. I was really fed up before, but now I feel great. We're going to be all right now. I know we are. Right. We better get back. Yeah, right. Happy hunting. See you later, guys. <laughs> Catch you later. Now, I don't know where this river leads. Maybe we should head further off downstream. It looks deeper down there. Who knows? We might see Sybil and Melissa having a picnic further down, eh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You OK, Leon, mate? Oh, no. Don't you think it's a bit weird that Simon wanted David to go fishing with him? I thought he couldn't stand him. I suppose it's just to show there's no hard feelings between them. This place can really change people. You reckon? Yeah. What else would it be? It's just that... No, you're probably right. This looks like a good spot for fishing, eh? Oh, yeah, good one. Yeah. Whoa! Look at him go! 
He looks pretty tasty from here. Chrissy, give me the fishing rod, would you? Hey, David, can you swim? Of course I can. Good. Oh. Ah. My parents don't think I'm old enough to have a boyfriend. They think having a boyfriend will stop me doing well in school and stuff. That's so stupid. Leon's really nice. Maybe when we get home we can talk them round. That's if we get home. Home feels like another planet right now. I think I got rid of that geek. Do you think I'll be okay? Who cares? Oh, it'd be terrible if something happened. Chrissy, don't go getting hysterical on me. It'll be fine. Well, it's just you and me now then. Whatever. Chrissy, you're gonna have to work a lot harder than that. Come on, stop slacking off and let's get out of here. The nearest town can't be too far down this way. He's so cute. Aww. No way. Definitely not as cute as David. Though he usually looks better than that. What's happened to you? Where's Simon and Chrissy? I can't believe it. They, they chucked me out of the canoe into the river. They, they, geez, I need to get them off me. Oh, get them on. off me. They couldn't have just left you like that. Where'd you think? I've got something. I've got something. Could you escape them off from me? Ah. I knew something like this would happen. I just knew it. It's, it's all my fault. Now Simon and Chrissy have gone off with the canoe. As far as they know, David could have drowned. I should have said Simon couldn't be trusted. I should have warned them. Told David to stay away. What kind of friend am I if I can't even watch his back? Oh, sorry, David. Did that hurt? Just keep going. So what do we do now? What can we do? Just have to get on with it. We get through tonight, right? Yeah, just one more night. You know, maybe they've gone for help. I doubt it. They could be anywhere by now. What are you talking about? What? You're wittering on about something. What is it? I didn't say anything. Shut up, then. Simon. Oh, Melissa and Jerry, look! Where? Look over there, Where? near the bank! Jerry! Melissa! Stop! Turn round, get out and look for them. Come on! I think they've gone, Simon. It's like, oh. I think we should carry on. 